Hello, welcome to the fourth dimension. Maria here. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, this is a uh, quick ditty for Aries. Tell me about Aries. I'm gonna pull five oracle cards for you, Aries. You're dealing with an air sign. Jumping out. Who you might feel is a liar. Uh, date night gone wrong. Mercury retrograde, so you might be having problems with your car, computers, uh, communication, uh, email, anything electronic. Open your heart, and you might be a little hesitant, and I got a fire sign on the bottom. I'm going to do some clarification of this with what's the T. Tell me about Aries. Make five for Aries. Ooh, okay, these all want to come out. All righty. No, no. You're getting the inside scoop on an Aries. Uh, dealing with an ego, this liar. This date night in reverse and moving in silence. Maybe somebody promised you something and didn't fulfill it. Mercury retrograde. I have jackpot, wasting time, threatening impersonator uh, under Mercury retrograde, somebody, and Mercury retrograde is also about somebody coming back, wanting something from you, you know, like it's usually a, a cycle that you closed out, but it didn't get closed out completely. Um, and they're revisiting this. So you might be dealing, um, with somebody cause I feel, I feel like maybe somebody won some major money coming in. And jackpot, I feel, is somebody coming back. Uh, you feel like this is maybe a waste of your time and they might be, and late, the impersonator is heavily on a third party wanting to be you, do you, look like you. I think there's like a crush, a significant crush. And this threatening energy is somebody came into some, I think you might've come in some money and this person's like coming after you for it. Lastly is open your heart and it says spiritual hater. I make this up. Aries, what's going on, my friend? Tell me more about the spiritual hater. Tell me more because I'm just in the know. Same shit, different day. So you might be getting, yeah, I'm just getting like Aries. I don't know who I'm reading for, but you might be in the know. You might be in the know. And if you, this is your reading, my apologies. Bad reputation is reversed. Okay, so I get the vibe. Somebody tried to paint you out to be somebody you're not. And again, take it as it resonates. It might be you are painting somebody else out to be something they're not. It could be involving an air sign. It could be involving a fire sign, a fellow fire sign. And I feel like this air sign is trying to get the inside scoop on you. They're trying to get up in your business or vice versa. Um, trying to discern how you're growing so fast, whether it be in your job or whether it be in a relationship, like you're moving fast. This person's threatened by your growth. Um, coming back, I think it's a past energy, whether it be an air sign. I get heavy water sign actually, Aries. Um, is bad reputation also in the reverse, same shit, different day, and spiritual hater is, um, they're finding out, especially open your heart, is somebody's getting a new, it's like a hangman all over it, like past perceptions turned on its ear. So I feel like this is somebody who's looking at you, I feel like a third party who was an impersonator, wanted to be you, competed with you, that, that's the vibe I get off this threatening card, from the past, like you two were in competition over another person and your competition is looking at you with discerned eyes. Like they're seeing you in a different light. Like you weren't the bad person. You weren't competition. They're actually putting the blame on the right party. And that's the interested person that you had that you were exploring recently, an ex maybe. Um, it could be a family member. It could be like heavy family, cousin, sister, brother, that sort of thing. Heavy um, energy coming through Aries. Is somebody threatened by your abilities, your gifts, your platform, your growth, and they're coming after you. Uh, like comments, negative comments, and now they're wishing they didn't. And I feel like 
the interested party that you had put the third party onto you. So like if you had an ex, okay, let's say your ex had a third party and they had pillow talk and they shared some intimate details about you enough so that the third party got extremely threatened and came after you. Cyber bullies coming to mind, uh, fishing for comments come to mind. Um, and I feel like this person is watching your growth with that jackpot and Mercury retrograde is coming after you, feel, you know, feeling threatened, coming after you, um, feeling like get, like this is a waste of your time. This relationship was a waste of your time. I think you might have ended it. And I feel it's more of a water sign, but I do have air sign here. Um, you might have another person interested in you, this air sign that is exploring and they might know the water sign or the other fire sign. So, so far, and I don't typically read signs, heavy Gemini, but I'm gonna. <laughs> Aries, you might be dealing with a heavy, like there's heavy Gem Gemini, heavy Aquarius, some Libra, heavy Cancer, heavy Scorpio, some Pisces. Uh, fire signs is also a Leo, Sag, heavy on the Sag. And so you have individuals, I feel, have been up in your business, up in wanting to know what you're doing, trying to move in silence, trying to stalk you, almost gang stalk you. This might be a tribe of folks that are watching you. One specific, and it's almost like, okay, the visual I have is the water sign I feel is like the puppet master right? And has all these individuals trying to distort reality. Several of these people that were, they're clipping their, their lines, Aries, they're clipping their lines from the puppet master. And they're seeing that you don't have a bad re reputation. They, they're using their own brain. They're using their own brain. So the same shit, different day in the spiritual hater is they're recognizing um, their past energies on you haven't haven't done anything to distort or change your level of energy. In fact, it might have even motivated you. You might have even said, you know what? Bring it. You know, that's the vibe I get. I mean, every fiber of my being is standing on edge. So I feel like you're opening your heart back to new relationships. But I also hear these individuals, after they cut these ties with this like the puppet master, it's almost like the devil, the card on the devil isn't even about devil. It's really about addiction and bondage. So somebody was really competing with you for ego and attention and a place. They wanted a seat um, on the bus and they felt like they were being left behind. They moved in silence, right? And I feel like this date night that you're supposed to spend, this is kind of like the tell, you know, like in poker, there's a tell. If you don't play poker, you're not gonna know what the hell I'm talking about, but just trust me, there's, <laughs> mm, when you read people, there's always a tell, you know, there's always a tell. So this tell is the person who had asked you out and then canceled or didn't show or wasn't invested or what have you, that person's energy is all over this manipulation. You're gonna know exactly who the mastermind um, who's sitting behind the scenes, kind of telling everybody else uh, what you're doing all the details about you, Aries, and it's coming to light that this was a setup for these folks. They, he, he, she wanted this person, um, these people to hate you because they didn't get what they wanted from you. Um, I get this was a liar and an air, you know, ego. And I don't, this could be an air sign. Spirit's saying there's an air sign involved. But I feel like maybe the air sign is the initial person who's the like running the show, but I don't feel like it's the person, if you catch this person in a comment or they know things about you that nobody else would know, it's the person this air sign is interested in. So that's the vibe. So you got to imbalance Gemini. Don't, I don't need all a bunch, a lot of comments. It's one person. I'm just feeling an imbalanced Libra. Um, or Gemini coming at you. I think an Aquarius uh, quit the party. I feel like that's kind of the, somebody, I feel like an Aquarius walked away, Aries. Um, I'm just heavy, heavy vibes going on this. So if you are putting something out there that's positive, that's godly, that's spiritual, that's ascending, that calls people to action, to change, or revisit how they think, very similar to this channel, 
I am not an Aries. <laughs> I am a Cancer. But I feel like you've irritated somebody with some dark, dark connections that affected their ego. And the things that you say, whatever you're saying out there is challenging challenging this person and the posse, I, I want to say, to reevaluate their energy. Um, and the posse, I feel, are dropping like flies. I just feel like it's not, it's not um, generating the hatred, the retaliation that they wanted from you. I don't know what this could be. It could be at work, whatever you're doing for work, or it could be a passion project of yours that you're doing on the side. And unfortunately, these people that were friends, I want to say this is a group like a posse, a tribe. This is a close-knit group of people. You may know one or two, but you don't know all of them. And this person manipulated the rest of them to react and get in, you like get involved. Some of them were paid to, to watch your page, to watch your comments, to retort, to retaliate, to make, you know, slanderous comments towards your character. And, you know, as... As a fellow, uh, I want to say if you maybe do tarot, as a fellow reader, um, you always know which ones are who because the comments are biting and character assassination. It's not about the content, it's about you, right? And you're like, hmm, that's an interesting comment. <laughs> and I feel like that's kind of what you're up against here. And just know you're doing, you're blessed. You're, you're protected heavily by your tribe, heavily. I haven't even pulled a tarot card and I know for a fact your downloads are genuine. Your don't stop. Whatever you're doing, keep going. Let them hate. That's their. That, you know, I always say free rent is free rent. You know, I I didn't create the rent in your head. You did. So you know, I'm sorry that I'm there. You can always forgive me for whatever I said that pissed you off. But at the end of the day, I just work here. <laughs> I'm just doing what my spiritual team told me to do. Um, that's kind of the vibe I think you're taking. Um, you're going to have this air sign, I feel, uh, come in. And I feel like they're going to offer you an apology. It could be the water sign, but I feel like it's the air sign. I feel like whoever was in charge of the posse or the, like the mastermind behind the comments and the hate vibes and all that is going to come in and, and either send you a letter, a text, an email. They're embarrassed. They see you as a queen of pentacles. They're going to talk about this king of wands. Um, they're going to ask for forgiveness. And the emperor is taking ownership um, of the situation. I don't know if this is some... And forgive the gender. It doesn't matter the gender. It's more of the energy behind it. The spirit that this person is moving in, Aries, that they are genuinely sad. This isn't a game. They feel like they were played along with several other people and they're done. Tell me about Liar and Ego. Liar and Ego, please. Liar and Ego is the Ten of Pentacles. There was some kind of abundance that was tied to this manipulation. Something was promised to this tribe about like everybody was going to partake in some kind of abundance if your content or like taking your content something like that stealing your stuff is vibing off that and they see you they're like the king of swords is coming in so i feel like this person is going to be intentfully truthful with you and it is about rushing in so this wasn't very well thought of this plan um it's falling apart now people are not as obligated or committed to the the call i feel like the the in the original part it was like evil there was some form of spiritual this person can't be getting those downloads or can't be getting this insight intel um it isn't genuine there's a spiritual like the spiritual hater is um god can't use you in that fashion you know like they don't use disciples today i beg to differ but I kind of get that vibe and this Aries, you just need to know that this person is super sad about the distorted truth that they, yeah, that they sent is fighting amongst themselves. Several of them are quitting. It's a cycle. You can expect blessings to come in. You can expect, um, you can expect nothing but abundance from now on. This is like, we have the devil. So that's a codependency and you can see on the devil, I'm sorry, but you can see that they're chained they're chained it's a it's um it's ego but it's it's codependent it's like mm, i want to be a part of something big and i i feel like i'm if i act with this group i'm doing the right thing i'm being called to a higher level and a purpose and that's not true because there was an intent driving it which was jealousy 
which was fear, which was get back, which was this has got relationship breakup all over it. And somebody's livid and petty. And that person isn't even showing their face. It's the other people involved. So I have this as arguing, um, fighting amongst themselves. I think that maybe this air sign wanted uh, or had romantic feelings for the person you left. And that's why they, you know, jumped in and they got their friends involved. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the hell that's about. But it's coming to a close. People are losing interest. They don't trust the puppeteer. <laughs> they don't trust the motive behind it. It doesn't make sense. Things are coming to light. The things you're posting are accurate. Um, it, it irritates their demons. So all I can say, Aries, is that you are shining light on uh, impacting a deep, like you've said things, even if you don't have a platform. It could be your own Posts that you put on your own, Insta, Tiki, whatever, Facey, whatever, doesn't matter. Whatever you're posting is like the. If you get negative comments, start there. If this, if you've ever gotten a negative comment on something positive you've posted, this might be for you. Number one, two, spirit is telling me that you don't need to fret that you have these all these faceless haters out there because it's dissolving because you've proven you're the genuine thing, right? This isn't a game. You didn't, you didn't choose this at all. <laughs> you're just following, you're following your spirit tribe. Like your tribe's telling you to do it. And you're trusting God. You're trusting the divine. You're aligned and the downloads you're getting are real and people are shocked. The information you're receiving is shocking and they might be coming out from the woodwork due to karma. Their lives are worse. Yours is better. You haven't done anything but taking the stones. People are throwing stones left and right and you're just sitting there amidst it, unharmed. In fact, you're growing and congratulations. So the Mercury retrograde and these threatening, these threatening, um, I'm gonna just take a second and show you. Um, this, right, Mercury, it's it's fear, it's illusion, it's, it's, it's smoke and mirrors, you know, and they see that you are a hitting jackpot and they're wasting their time. They can't, impersonate you. They can't steal from you. They, they don't have the creativity within themselves to continue this. They just don't because it's not of you. It's not from you. You're not, it, well, it is from you, but it's being divinely given to you. And you see that, you recognize that. Um, I feel like you're closing out the cycle. This is, um, a divinely orchestrated cycle that is closing on itself and the death, the death card back to the the devil screams, screams karma, dharma. Um, so like as you walk into your blessings and you walk into your fruitful season and you are enjoying the fruit of your labor of all of all the nasty comments and the, the biting and the stupidity that you've had to deal with um, and the immaturity, you know, you're walking into the season of being your own emperor ready for war. And I just said this on a Taurus reading, but this is the vibe I get. It's the same vibe, a little different. So the emperor is the manager of all four kingdoms, right? Of all four kings. So each kingdom, let's say, has a million people, all right? And each king is managing each of these kingdoms remotely well. They are the, they have a, they are the accomplished director of each of those four kingdoms. You're the emperor managing the four kings, right? And the production of all the four kingdoms. So whatever you're stepping into, whatever you're developing, wherever it's going, you can expect abundance and growth because you're doing it seamlessly. You're, you're spinning 12, 15 plates. You're managing people very, very well. You are calm, you are, but you're ready for war. So I see this giant Viking image with these giant furs, right? And swords and shields and a bucket full of ammo and you're ready for war. You're not looking for war, but you're ready. You know, you're spiritually guided and this is spiritual war. So you are, you are heavily protected, heavily protected. Your spirit guides are telling me to tell you, don't fret my dear, it's almost over. In fact, it is over, they can't hurt you at all. You have brand new partnerships coming in. The things that you've, if you're like, I hear prayer Jabez, I hear expand my territory. You've asked for increase in abundance. You've asked for your territories to be expanded all over the world and it is rushing in. Um, the Two of Cups is partnerships, it's coffee, it's dinner, it's drinks, it's having conversations, it's contracts. And this is like before you anticipate it, this is divinely guided and you are going to be highly successful. Aries, 
man, I don't know whatever kind of season. I feel like it's been a long time you've had to deal with this. I mean, it could be an ending of a marriage. It could be an ending of a relationship. It could, you could have been walking away from friends that didn't have your best interest. You closed out cycles left and right of people that didn't serve you. You kept elevating and trusting your higher power, your God, your deity, whatever you pray to every morning. And your entire universe, your support team, tribe is having a standing ovation for you for overcoming this. And I cannot begin to tell you the energy coming off this. It is like the effery is done. There's a huge world in this. It's closed and your cycle is moving forward. Bring on the haters because it's it's like they could, I hate to say this, but the energy I feel is any arrow they throw at you, 10 more will come back at them if they try. Go ahead and try. That, that's not for me. That's like the divine showing up saying, you know what? There's nothing but justice coming in for you. And the imbalances they're going to feel is there is no justice because they feel like they were doing the right thing. They felt they were, but the fruit is in the work, right? So you're growing and their abundance is shrinking. So they're having car problems. They're having computer problems. They're having communication issues. They're having breakups. Their relationships are failing. Their territory is shrinking. They might be losing jobs. They might be exhibiting illness. They might have all this thing, tower after tower. I cannot make this up. You're dropping this. You're dropping your fret. You're dropping your worry. You're trusting in your divine. You're saying whatever happens, happens, and you're moving forward. You're making a decision to move forward, Aries, and nothing but love is coming in. You have manifested this completely, and nothing but headache is on their way. So it's like divinely orchestrated for your Ten of Pentacles. Several of them, like this air sign, may be coming back, if, especially if there's a romantic situation. And I do believe there's one in the posse that came to your defense. I feel it might be the air sign and they're going to want to rebirth. Um, they're going to see that you're definitely somebody that they should have invested in and trusted and they didn't, they didn't listen to your intuition. They are presenting themselves as a lover. You're going to have to discern, but you're moving forward either way. You're moving forward, Aries. You're jumping in a whole new cycle. You're starting a new, fresh cycle. I'm very excited for you. Haters hate. Okay, lastly, I'm going to have a doorbell ring here in a minute. Somebody's going to drop off a package. Oh, nope. Didn't come to the door. Love it. Okay. Maybe that's you. Maybe that's you. Somebody's going to come up and say, oh, I, I'm not, I can't knock on the door. Maybe they're going to send you a letter. Whew, tell me about Aries. This energy is crazy. I have number 16. I am perceptive. That's so interesting. If you are dealing with a Taurus, check out their reading because I do feel like that might actually uh, pertain to you as well. It says you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings, a wisdom seeker, and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perspective. I am perceptive and perspective. You have a perspective on this too, a new perspective. Um, if you are a reader, a fellow reader, kudos to you. Keep, let me know in the comments because I feel like there's a reader tarot all over this, all over this reading. So um, if you're an Aries sign and you're um, guided by the divine to put out your positive spiritual content, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're walking into a season of abundance. I'm very excited for you. Um, lastly, if you're brand new to this, this channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please consider so. I'm hosting a um, five, five free readings in uh, June 10th-ish that week. I'm going to pull five names. Actually, I'm a friend of mine is going to pull them. And uh, I'm going to post them on the community page. Um, and if, you're, if this resonated, you want a, a personal read, feel free to email me at fourth dimension, F-O-U-R-T-H, D-I-M-E-N-S-I-O-N tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you on the schedule um, to have a, have a reading. If you're interested in a free reading, please put your name if it's not in your tagline um, or your ID into the comment and write free reading or something so I know I'll, and I'll put you in this lovely jar. I have thousands, thousands. I'm going to do this more frequently. If you want to become a Patreon, I do those regularly so feel free to hit that um, Patreon button as well. You can be a supporter to, um, of this channel if you like what you see. Thanks so much. Take care. Until next time. Bye.